Hi everyone, my name is Emily Teague. I'm a fashion and portrait photographer based in New York City. A couple weeks back, I did a video on feminine posing, and at the end, I asked if you all would be interested in a video on masculine posing. And after reading the comments, it turns out that is what a lot of you would like to see. So here we are today talking about masculine posing. I mentioned this in my last video as well, but I wanna throw out again that these masculine posing tips can be for any model, and you can also mix and match feminine and masculine traits together. But for today's video, I'll focus purely on the masculine side. First off, let's talk about traditional masculine traits. To list a few, we've got strength, courage, independence, dominance, bravery, and prestige. So whoever we're directing in front of our camera, we wanna keep all these traits in mind and see how their body language, their pose, can help represent some of those traits. This goes for both feminine and masculine posing, but first things first, let's talk about posture. So starting out, let's have your model stand up straight and tall, keep your shoulders back, pull your stomach in, put your weight mostly on the balls of your feet, keep your head level, let your arms hang down naturally at your sides, and keep your feet about shoulder width apart. The next thing to keep in mind is the chest and shoulders. We wanna make them look broad and strong. We want to take up some space here and expand. So, when I start posing and showing examples in a bit, I'm going to be paying attention to how the shoulders and chest look, where they're facing, and I'll be directing their movement, like leaning one shoulder in, turning and creating angles, etc. Again, think strong, brave, powerful, and in control. And those traits in mind, let's also have feet separated a bit into a more of a power stance. Generally, I would avoid having feet right together, which can feel a bit more simple, polite, and gentle. We want power here, so let's try having feet a bit apart. Try one foot in front. Try having your model lean their weight back and forth between that front and back foot. And keep in mind, straight lines feel more aggressive than curved lines. Oftentimes with feminine posing, we're trying to be delicate and create these flattering curves with our bodies, pulling everything in. But with masculine posing, we wanna take up space. We wanna create strong lines. We're expanding in a flattering way. Another thing I want to do, which also goes for any type of posing, is I want to create a strong jawline and a little separation. So I'm going to have my model take their forehead and bring it just ever so slightly towards me, which is going to help that jawline. It should help to focus on their face and also help your model remember their shoulders and posture too. Next up, let's talk about hands. First, if your model has pockets, a single hand in the pocket is nice, and I would say try all your options here. I think different placements look better or worse depending on the model's hands and pants, but try hand fully in the pocket, which might work better for suits. Or if they're wearing jeans, try fingers in the pocket but thumb out. Also, try thumb in the pocket and the rest of the fingers out. I found this really does change model to model. And what I'm saying about some of these poses working and some of them not goes for a lot of different arm and hand placements. We all have different bodies, flexibility, etc. So try the pose idea, see if it works, and if you or your model isn't feeling it, just move on to the next. Sometimes hands can also feel a little stiff, so if they are, feel free to have your model just shake their hands out to loosen them up. We want the hands and the limbs to feel relaxed here. We're going for this effortless strength. Also, with the hands, feel free to turn the wrists, play with clothing, try hand on the back of the neck, cross the arms, or kind of try holding the chin. Going back to wanting to convey power, the other thing I'm going to suggest on the photographer's side is to try using a lower angle. This lower angle is going to be looking up at your model, which is going to make them seem more powerful, stronger, domineering, versus if you're shooting down at a model, it's like you're kind of looking down at them, they're going to appear weaker, smaller, so angle that camera up at them. Okay, so we're here with my friend Luciano and I'm going to be on the other side of the camera and we're just gonna kind of mirror each other as we go. And the direction that I'm giving, you guys can screenshot any poses that you like, but really this is just to show you kind of how to flow and how to direct and everything that you can do. So let's try it out. Luciano, if you wanna center yourself. And for starters, why don't we try that thumb in the pocket? And I'm gonna take your shoulders and turn them towards the light a little bit. Great, now let's take that front foot and bring it out forward. Uh-huh, and this just kind of sway back and forth here. And there's a few different options where if I'm shooting him like this, every time he sways, and let's actually have your chin move with your shoulders going there, yep. So there's a lot of different shot options there. Next, let's take your hands. Let's try just on the back of your neck like this. Great, 
kind of expanding yourself, oh, not your arms, actually bring those back in, but with your feet, bring them out a little bit more and chin up a little bit. And I, this is kind of going for like that domineering, powerful look, looks great. Let's have those arms drop and then let's try back pockets. Perfect, and kind of, you just did something wonderful where you look down and then let's take your shoulders again and turn them the opposite direction from the light and take your feet with you actually. Great, and as you're doing this, let's just turn your hips kind of back and forth. Great, and expand those arms out a little bit. Perfect, and then looking towards the light as you do that. Nice, okay, let's drop that. Let's try arms crossed looking right at me. Perfect, and as we're doing this, we can do a few things with his chin. We can try chin down a little bit, and then lean your forehead towards me slightly. Beautiful, that looks masculine, wonderful, handsome, looks great. We can also try with your head, let's try tilting a little bit. Perfect, and expression-wise, I'm always thinking kind of coy, a little, not smug, but a little bit of a smirk is always nice. I like what you're doing right now. And then let's drop the arms again and shake them out. And then let's just kind of lean back and forth on your foot. So one foot in front of you, and I'm just gonna have you place your weight forward and back. And as you're doing this, your arms can kind of sway a little bit and just, yeah, not, not too much, just a little bit. And then feel free to look around as you do this. And there should be a lot of shots in here too. So if you're warming up with a model, this is a really nice way to get them moving, to get them comfortable. And there's a lot of different shots you can get in here too. Next up, let's bring you a table and we'll try that next. Next up, we've got some sitting shots um, using this table. You can also use a posing board or anything like that. So we'll just do the same thing. So for starters, let's have your right arm kind of forward. Yep, perfect. And then let's bring your arms together. Looking good. And then chin down a little bit. Perfect, that's a pose right there. Let's take the arm that's closest to you and kind of lean your hand into it like so. Nice, and let's actually ball it into a fist. That looks great. And so again, going for more aggressive, masculine, I think that looks really good. Let's try it on the back of your neck. Nice, and give me just a slight smirk as you do. Chin down slightly, looks good. And then shake out that hand that's on the table. Yep, perfect. Let's try arms crossed. Looks nice. And again, I'm always looking at forearms as I'm doing this. I feel like forearms can be really masculine. So just trying to look for where you can feature them. Let's shake the hands out real quick. And then let's just try hands together, kind of right in front of your mouth. Lean in slightly. Yep, chin down a little bit. Kind of give me devious. Perfect, that looks great. So those are a few options. Let's try sitting next. Okay, so we are now on the floor. So starting out, Luciana, let's have you take your knee and kind of bring it up like this and have one leg tucked in. Wonderful, and yeah, take that forearm and kind of wrap it around. Take that other arm and put it behind you. Looking good. And then let's have you turn a little bit away from the light just to give you a bit of an angle. That looks great. And then bring that arm out a little bit. Nice, and then take that arm that's wrapped around and also put it behind you. Looks good. Now let's bring both knees up. And let's have you just kind of come forward with your hands like this. Looks good. And then bring your face and come forward just a little bit too, kind of looking down. And you're doing the perfect thing with your arm where you're kind of flexing a little bit. Keep that muscle up. Looks good. And with that, a little head tilt too. Perfect, great. Let's bring your legs down. And I'm gonna have you turn this way towards the light. With that leg that's closest to me, bring just that one up. Nice, actually let's switch. Bring your back leg up and the, this one forward, perfect. And kind of, let's just have your hands together. And why don't we try having your forearms crossed? I try to do wrist crossed when I'm doing feminine poses and forearms crossed when I'm doing more masculine poses. And then kind of tilt your head back and then towards me, looking good. And then one final pose, why don't we just bring our legs like so? And similar, we will take our hands, bring them together and kind of hide your face just a little bit, menacing like, I think that looks great, well done. And that is it. As always, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have questions and also keep letting me know what you wanna learn in future episodes. I love reading through all the comments. I always appreciate the support and I will see you all in the next episode.